welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you this party look, which I've been really, really excited to film for you guys. It's just a pretty neutral lid, just with a lot of like deep colors on the outside, and then a smoked out purple lower lash line with a pop of silver in there. Um, and I really like the way that it turned out. I'm super excited because again, I've been wanting to do this type of look for a really long time and I finally got to do it so I'm so excited. I'm just trying to keep on the schedule of the videos, three a week, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. <sighs> trying for you guys, I'm trying. Um, but I've been doing pretty good for a couple weeks now. <laughs> so again, I don't have anything else to say, so if you wanna see how I got this party look, then just keep watching. So we're just going to start by priming our face with Benefit's Professional and really work that into our skin to get a nice base for our foundation. This is probably my favorite primer of all time, but I'm running out and I really, really need to replenish because, girl, you can't live without Benefit's Professional. Next, I'm going to be taking my Tried and True Foundations L'Oreal True Match, and I'm using two colors. I'm using W3 and W4. W3 for the lighter parts of my face, and W4 for the darker parts, just to kind of give me some dimension. This is me putting on the darker color, and then I'm just going to be taking a buffing brush and buffing that completely into the skin. I love this brush for foundation. I believe it is a Coastal Sense brush and it just really picks up all the extra product um, that you don't need and really works in the product that you do have on your skin very nicely. Next is concealer, another tried and true favorite is the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm going to be placing this all the places I usually highlight and conceal and then I'm going to be blending that completely in with a duo fiber brush. Next I am just going to be taking this Bare Minerals Powder Foundation and I'm going to be applying this right over it not only to set my foundation but this is really going to keep it locked and loaded all night long that you're partying. It's just like another extra layer but doesn't look too cakey. After this I'm just going to fill in my brows with a NYX brow pencil and then spoolie them out and again go over them with clear brow gel per usual because this girl got some crazy brow hairs that just they can't be running amok the way that brow hairs like to do so this is me just filling in my brows boring 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 but I have found a way that I do like my brows and I think I might be doing a brow tutorial so stay tuned for that I look so excited, <laughs> but I'm just priming my eyes here with my Bella Pierre eye primer. I'm then going in with the Lorac Pro 2 palette and taking the color Buff and placing this all over my lid as well as my brow bone to highlight. And I really like this because it's a nice, um, nudish color that's not just overbearingly bright so it worked really good for this look I'm then going to be taking the color light brown from the palette and working this into my crease just for a transition color per usual I say per usual too much but as usual how about that I'm going to be placing this for the blending color I'm going to be taking the color black and placing this on the outer corner of my eye, really smoking it out so that you get that super, again, smoked out look. Dang, I really need to work on my voiceovers.
Oh, the gel liner! <laughs> I am starting off with the wing, and clearly I already messed up. I am trying so hard to get the hang of gel liner, and it is just, it's not working for me. It is so hard, and I'm trying! Okay, got one eye done. And now I'm just going to do the other, and by the power of editing, it's not going to take 50 hours like it normally does. Now I'm going to line my lower waterline and my lower lash line with this purple eye pencil that I have and this is just going to end up smoked out later with a purple shadow. Dance break and then I'm going to be using the California BH Cosmetics Collection Trio and I'm taking the purple color which is the color Hollywood and I'm just going to smoke the crap out of that lower lash line to give us that nice party effect. I'm then going in and cleaning up and adding some more color where it was lost with the liner and the blending and you couldn't see it on camera I don't know what happened to the clip or if I don't know what happened but I applied the silver shadow from the Lorac palette um, to my inner corner just for an extra pop I then applied some mascara and some lashes and now I'm going on to bronzer so I'm just going to contour my face and yeah And then going in with this peachy blush and popping that on my cheekbones and then when I'm done with that I am just going to blend it all out with another brush. Then I'm going to highlight and of course I'm going to highlight all the normal places, the cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, the little ball of my nose on the end, my cupid's bow and my chin. Last is the lips. I'm going to be just lining them with this nude liner. Then I'm going to be taking this Appeal Cosmetics um, lipstick in mock-up. I think I got this in a BoxyCharm box one month. And topping it off with a nude gloss, which I believe is a NYX butter gloss as usual because that's like all I use. And that is it for this party look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to follow my social media. It'll be listed down below. And until next time, bye beauties.